All right, folks, this is coming from the Wall Street Journal. This is no rag. Here's the headline. Financially hobbled for life. The elite master's degrees that don't pay off. Tom, Tom, Tom. Adding my own sound effects today. I'm going to single out some some schools here, so don't get your feathers ruffled. But somebody's got to tell you people this. Top, this is the sub subheadline. Top universities push master's programs that fail to generate enough income for graduates to keep up with the six-figure federal loans. Again, not really breaking news here. But folks, this has got to stop. I think this is criminal. I think it's false advertising, and it's got to be addressed that way. You ready? Here we go. Any Columbia grads out there, please don't get your feelings hurt. Again, I'm reading from the Wall Street Journal. I'll, I'll ruffle your feathers, Columbia, in just a moment. Here it is. One particular example, recent film graduates of Columbia University took out federal student loans at a median range of $181,000. If you got a some type of graduate film degree from Columbia, one of the most you know, we're talking the pinky finger goes up. You talk about Columbia and your pinky finger goes up. You can't help it. Super ritzy. Median debt for Columbia master's degree film students, $181,000. Let's see how they're doing after they get the elite degree. Wait for it, folks. I need Pepto-Bismol on set. That's how bad this is. Two years after earning their master's degree from Columbia University, Half of the borrowers were making less than $30,000 a year. Are you paying attention to me? Median debt, $181,000. Half were making less than $30,000 a year. Uh, Quick, quick thing here. Do you know what that means? That means they're A, not working in the film industry at all and they're doing some kind of low-level job, or they are in the film industry, and they're basically doing something that they could have walked on set and gotten the interview using the proximity principle. Well, watch this. I'm unplugging for a second. I'm so fired up, Joe. Let's hope this works. Off the shelf. Right here. Joe, tell people how much that costs at KenColeman.com. Let's I see. believe it's $20. $20. Oh, and you can get all three formats. I'm not pitching my book. I'm telling you, this number one best-selling book will get you a job making probably as much, if not more, than your Columbia film degree. I, I Listen, I could sell everything today. And I could go to L.A. with my wife, three kids, and our golden doodle, Ellis. And I could get a job using the proximity principle, and I could make as much, if not more, in the film industry, I promise you, without a degree, than these poor kids. You ready for this? Let's make you more sick. Look at at me, folks. Listen to this. The New York City University, Columbia, is among the world's most prestigious schools, and its $11.3 billion endowment ranks it as the eighth wealthiest private school in the country. $11.3 billion in the endowment. For years, faculty, staff, and students have appealed unsuccessfully to administrators to tap the wealth. 113 billion billion dollars to aid more grad students 11.3 billion what are you doing with the money columbia because you're not helping subsidize these film students what's the point why are you doing columbia what you're doing if not to help your students be successful and i gotta tell you columbia making less than $30,000 a year after you've saddled them with $181,000 in debt isn't helping them. Which leads me to say this. Please pay attention and share this if you agree. 
a lot of colleges and higher ed universities, schools of learning, are more interested in their fortunes than your futures. I got to have something to drop. I can't drop the mic because it's like attached. I'm going to say it again. Many colleges and universities are more interested in their fortunes than your future. Oh, Ken, that is extreme. No, it isn't. $11.3 billion endowment. And it says that university faculty and administrators have begged the school to use that money to subsidize these students. Would you like more evidence? Great. I've got some. How about NYU? Hey, let's stay in the area of the pinky raising, Joe. NYU doesn't get more prestigious than Columbia and NYU. Graduates with a master's degree in publishing. I'm a published author. I know a little bit about publishing. Borrowed a median $116,000 and had an annual median income of $42,000 two years after the getting out of the program. Uh, let's not just pick on New York. Let's go to the Midwest, shall we? Let's raise our pinky for Northwestern University. Elite school in Chicago. Half of those who earned degrees in speech language pathology borrowed $148,000 or more. And their median income two years later, $60,000. Oh, let's not just pick on the Midwest, Joe. How about we raise our pinky, Madison, for the elites at Southern Cal? Southern California's graduates of marriage and family counseling borrowed a median of $124,000 and earned $50,000 or less two years after getting out of the program. Now let's personalize this. Matt Black, featured in this Wall Street Journal article, graduated from Columbia in 2015 with a master's in film art. So I guess that's what that is. MFA. Sounds really cool. And had $233,000 in federal loans. So he signs up for an income-based repayment plan. And now with interest, his balance is at $331,000. He's a 36-year-old writer and producer in Los Angeles. He earned $60,000 in a good year. And this is a direct quote. We were told by the establishment our whole lives that this was a way to jump social classes. Instead, he said he feels like marriage, children, and owning a home are out of reach. During a car ride last year with three friends from the same Columbia film program, they calculated that collectively they owed $1.5 million in loans. He said the joke in the car that we're financially hobbled for life. It's no laughing matter. Shame on you, Columbia. Shame on you, NYU. Shame on you, Northwestern. Shame on you, Southern Cal. And those are just the examples in the article. Those schools are so rich, their endowments are so fat that they could do something to actually reduce the cost. Because I thought Columbia, I thought NYU, I thought Northwestern, I thought Southern Cal, and every other freaking school out there that are charging people a fortune that they cannot afford to pay for and repay while you cash in huge endowment checks. Why are you in the business of education? Those four schools and many others care more about their fortunes than your future. And I'm telling you, many times there's a better way. And if the only way is the graduate degree, don't go into debt for it. I can tell you this, the brand name school, they're not doing jack squat for you. It's time. This is criminal. I think it's criminal. I really do. It's false advertising. It's a scam. Why won't we step up and say that? Where are the social elites to say that this is, this is ruining people's lives? You're selling them a mirage, and it's got to stop. Now, I got good news and bad news. The good news is it can't stop if you, the people, say, I'm not going to get sucked into that lie. 
Because I can tell you, these big-time higher education, they're all about their fortunes and their checks and everything else. And it's a marketing scam. And they're not going to stop unless they go bankrupt, which could happen. Because if anybody could blow through those endowments, it would be those higher education institutions. So there you go. It's not popular, but somebody's got to say it.